guys, I'm Kreena and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I get ready for an Indian wedding. So I'm going to start off by using some chapstick and Burt's Bees is my favorite. I'm going to use this to condition my lips. And to move on to my face, I'm going to use this Benefit Professional Primer all over my face. And basically this will make sure that my foundation stays in place and my makeup doesn't move around throughout the night. So once the primer dries off on my face for a while, I start applying my foundation with a foundation brush. As for the foundation, I use the Estee Lauder in the shade 4W1 and I use the Nykaa's foundation brush to do this process. This Estee Lauder double wear foundation is truly magical. It dries off on my skin flawlessly and the coverage is beautiful. The shade matches my skin tone very well. And the only downside I can think about would be the price point. It is a bit expensive, but honestly a little bit can go a long way. So it's definitely worth the investment. Moving on to the concealer, I use the Huda Beauty concealer in the shade Toasted Almond. I use a few dots of the concealer under my eye and then quickly I use my fingers to pat it in before it dries out. I don't like to use a brush because it leaves streaky marks under my eyes. I use a Kat Von D translucent powder along with a brush from Real Techniques. So I take some of the powder on the brush and remove the excess and pat the brush under my eyes and through the sides of my nose and the corners of my lips and even some on my T-zone. So basically all the areas on my face that would crease or get oily. Moving on to the eyes, I love this eyeshadow palette from Smashbox and my go-to color is this light pink color which I apply from the crease line to the uh, eyebrow and basically I use it in a circular motion so that it blends in. And I use this brush from Primark, it's a very basic brush, it's just an eyeshadow brush and it works perfectly fine. As for the lids, I take this golden shimmery color on my finger and I apply it all over my lid. Again, I like to use my finger to do this because I get the most amount of product and it helps me reach the inner corner of my eye which would be very difficult to reach if I was using a brush. Now I'll take this dark brown and maroon shade for the outer corner of my eye and basically this will blend in the light pink and the golden shade as well and also it will give some depth to my eyes. I love this tattoo liner by Kat Von D. In order to apply my eyeliner, I start from the center of my eye and then I go to the inner corners and extend the line outwards. So once I am satisfied with the thickness of the line and the way it looks, I create a tiny little wing on the outer corner and then I connect the line with the wing in order to create that perfect cat eye look. Once I'm satisfied with how it looks, I go over it a few times to make it darker and then I repeat the same on the other side as well. I use this eyeliner pencil by Color Bar on my lower lash line. This literally brings the entire eye look together and I love doing this every time I'm doing a full face of makeup. My favorite part about the entire makeup look has got to be the eyelashes and I love these by Pac 53 along with the Allure Lash Fix Glue. So basically I apply the glue on the lash line and let it dry for a few minutes till the glue gets a little tacky. And in the meanwhile I take an eyelash curler and start curling my lashes because honestly that makes a huge difference. So once the glue is very tacky, I start putting the eyelashes on from the top half of my eyelid and basically I just wiggle it around just to ensure that both the inner corner and the outer corner are stuck very well to the eyelid because there has been several times where the corners start peeling off and eventually I just have to take them off completely or reapply them. Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure that there's not a lot of gap between your natural lashes and the fake ones. So basically I just start pinching them together just to ensure that there's no gap between them. 
So once I'm satisfied with how the first one looks, I start applying the second one. And honestly, I love lashes because they really define your eye look. The final step of the eye look has got to be a mascara. And basically, I apply this just to make sure that my natural lashes are blending in with my fake lashes so you don't see any gaps between them. And I also go ahead and apply this on my bottom lash line as well. Once I'm done applying the mascara, I just wiggle it out just to make sure that there is no excess product left behind. Moving on to the eyebrows, I love this brow pencil by Nykaa. I start off by brushing the eyebrow hair into place and then I go ahead and fill a few of the patches in with the pencil. Now let's move on to adding some color on my face for which I use this bronzer by Too Faced along with this angled brush by Eco Tools. In order to contour my face, I apply this bronzer under my cheekbones, under my jawline and also along the side of my face. Basically it looks like a number 3 if you think about it. Once I'm done with the side of my face, I also apply some on the top of my forehead to give that sun-kissed look. As you can see, the bronzer can really define your face and a little bit of blush can also go a long way. I use this blush by Tarte and as you can see, I've already hit the pan. So basically, I just smile and apply it on my cheeks and blend it in with the bronzer. Moving on to the highlighter, I love this highlighter by NYX Cosmetics and I use this flat fan brush to apply it on my cheeks. I absolutely love applying highlighter and basically I just use my fingers to blend it all in. I also apply some highlighter on the bridge of my nose to highlight that area. As you can tell, the bronzer, blush and highlighter can really make a huge difference. Moving on to the lips, I take some highlighter on an eyeshadow brush and apply it on the cupid's bow which is right above your lip. I'll apply this lip tint by Etude House all over my lips before I apply my lipstick because my lipstick eventually fades away and the lip tint will last for a longer time. And once I'm done with this application, I go ahead and blot some of it off on a tissue paper. Now I go ahead with my favorite lipstick by MAC called Mare. And I apply it all over my lips and this is definitely the final step of my makeup look. So now that I'm done with my makeup, I'll quickly change into my outfit and start doing my hair. For the hairstyle, I wanted to curl the ends of all my hair with my straightener. And the first few bits went quite okay as you can see here. But it wasn't really working out because my hair was not really in the right texture. So basically I just removed all the curls with my fingers and started straightening it instead. Straightening my hair was absolutely the best decision because it was much easier to do and it was very quick as well since I was getting very late for this wedding that I had to go to. So once I was done with my hair, I started deciding on my jewelry. I just went ahead with this tiny diamond pendant on a gold chain for my necklace. And as for the earrings, I was not too sure between the hoops or the earrings on the left. I went ahead with the earrings on the left and those have become my go-to earrings almost every day. And then I wore a tiny little bracelet on my wrist. And inside my clutch, I carried my eyelash glue my eyeliner and my MAC lipstick and before I stepped out I applied some Paco Rabanne 1 million on my neckline along with some on my wrist and I was good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and stay tuned for more videos just like this on my channel. Until next time, bye!